over the years that I've been operating 3D printers and CNC machines and the associated programs, I've had a lot of people ask me, especially with 3D printers, um, how do you create a 3D object and run it through the programs uh, associated with 3D printers and print it? Uh, because people, I suppose, would like to make something themselves of their own design. And I've had a lot of people asking me how to do that. So this is how to do that. We're going to take a simple object, uh, a cube, and um, we're going to design it in Fusion 360, which is a free download, a free program for new stats and teachers and things like that. Then I'm going to run that STL file. Now an STL file is uh, the object saved in minute triangle shapes. So the computer understands the geometry um, and it can transfer that geometry into another program and that program understands what that shape is. It's all actually in numbers but you have to have it in format that computer programs understand which is a digital format. So in my case I'm going to be using Flash Cloud. Now this is a programming entity that is a thing of the future. It's one of the first for 3D printing. Um, uh, I also use uh, things like Cura, which is the slicing and program. And I also use the Thingiverse, which is a um, cloud base then uh, for 3D objects. Flash Cloud is the two combined. It's a cloud-based program that is very similar to Cura uh, that you can manipulate and slice a 3D object but it also contains a, a library of 3D objects. But you can upload your object and run it through that program and then download it straight to your printer. This is all Wi-Fi. Like I say, this is a thing of the future. This is uh, more of a commercial entity, but you can have it in your home. So I'll open up Fusion 360. This is by Autodesk. I'll leave a link down below uh, this video. Fusion 360 and the associated programs with Flash Forge, which is the manufacturer of this 3D printer and Flash Cloud and Flash Print. So you'll be able to go and have a look yourself. Okay, so this is the opening screen of Fusion 360. Now it's it's really very simple to use. This is a CAD CAM program. Now CAD is computer aided drawing and CAM is the program that you use to put the tool paths together in, this, in the case of uh, like milling machines or lathes, CNC controlled, CNC controlled. Uh, but in our case we're using just the CAD program part of this and we're going to be creating a very simple three-dimensional object, uh, a cube, similar to this up here. We're going to start off very simple. Um, you need to name um, the project. At the moment it's untitled. So we're just going to very, very simply go test box one. Save. Okay, so we've labeled it something so we can recognize it again in, in a file format. Um, so what we really want to do is just now make a, a sketch. We need to draw a square. 
so that's what we're going to do. So we go to the sketch tool here and if you press on the little drop down box area here you have a, you'll have a choice of um, what you can actually the tool that you want to use. So we want a rectangle, um, the simple rectangle, press that and then you get the, the grid pop up that you want to use. Now we're going to choose a face in which to draw on. So I'm going to choose this one here, it really doesn't matter. And Fusion 360 automatically jumps then into a 2D plane uh, and you can now draw in a two-dimensional uh, way. So we're just simply going to go here uh, to the I've center got turned on. So it's going to snap to that central point and anchor itself there at that point. And come out here 25 millimeters. And that's fine. So we left click again. Now we've so we've drawn our, our shape. A rough shape. Now what we're going to do is we're going to extrude that into a box. So what you do, you come up here and say well I want to extrude it, I want to extrude that face and I want to extrude it up um, 25 millimeters. 25 millimeters and it's done. We've made our three-dimensional box. It's as simple as that. It's that quick. Okay, um, so we're going to call that good. We're happy with that, so press enter. Now that's locked in, that's our box. And it's exactly 25 millimeter by 25 millimeter. Okay, so we have our simple object. So now what you need to do is just bring the cursor over here, like this. Now hold your left key down and select the box or our cube then come up here to file and we want to save it as a 3d print and we want to come over here and mm, re refinement medium is fine in this case um, we don't want to send it to a, a utility uh, 3D utility now. Fusion 360 within Fusion Autodesk. Then um, you can download a, a slicing program from them. But in this case, I'm I'm using uh, Flash Forge derived program. So you say OK, uh, and you've got to make sure there's an STL file box one. Uh, not downloads, we're going to save it to desktop, save. So we'll just drop this down a second and we're going to make sure that it's saved and there it is there. Okay, can you see that? Yes, you can see that. Okay, so now what we're going to do, the next stage is to, is to open up Flash Cloud and then upload this up into Flash Cloud. Okay, so I've just logged on to Flash Cloud and I've got my printer switched on and connected to Wi Fi, and it, which is indicated here uh, by this little green dot uh, that my printer is uh, online and connected to actually to this computer via the internet. So you use this program very simply, like I said this is a system of the future that probably everybody's going to be using eventually. Um, so I can go to my model here and I can upload, choose a model file, so wait, let me just go small and just simply catch hold of our project and drop it. Just a simple drag and drop and press upload. And there is my our test box one. Okay. 
we're going to go to my model double click and it will automatically put it into the program now what I'm going to do then is it won't print it but it, this, if I press print here it will take me to the next screen which is here now this is actually ready to go it's showing me there's a 25 millimeter square actually um, I made it 25 millimeter in the end now so you can manipulate this and have a look uh, if you catch on your scroll button you can scroll in if you press the right button right mouse button that is you can lift it up left mouse button you can scroll it around and have a look Let's see if it's positioned right and everything like that if you're happy with that now I, I don't want to rescale it or anything like that I don't want to rotate it or anything like that it's fine where it is and it shows me where it's going to be made in relation uh, on the, the, the build plate so now I'm going to go to the next screen uh, actually print parameters we'll have a look at that it's PLA <coughs> support structure enable we don't need a support structure disable that rafting enable we don't need rafting so we disable that and we're just going to do a standard print now this actually determines um, the density of fill on the inside. Now standard fill is about 20% which is what normally everybody uses. So we're going we're gonna to be fine with that. If I've done low fast that's only about a 10% fill. And of course these higher specification levels are um, more fill so we're going to just press print and this is going now straight to the printer not yet it isn't <laughs> so now we're, we're happy with that it's given some information about the printer these are the temperatures of the printer right now live so this is viewed off the internet uh, and this is viewed live and another little thing uh, to show that this is live on the internet if I press this that will turn the internal camera on inside the printer and this will be broadcast incidentally uh, it gives us some information here that, um, that I'm the creator of this the time it was created the date time it was created uh, it's going to take 36 minutes to print and there there it is there's the video camera internal of the or built into the uh, 3d printer okay so we'll turn that off for a minute so it's actually just sending a message to the uh, the, the printer oh okay turn the camera off so now if I press this the printer will automatically print this this uh, 3d print so I'll now change the camera position and uh, take you over to the 3d printer and you can see that being printed okay so I'm going to transmit it now to the printer and you should see this uh, screen change here there you go then when that's completed it will automatically start
So this is the result of a 25% fill. See, no mess, no fuss, it's straight off. So there's that little cube. It is absolutely perfect in every way. It is, in fact, the perfect print. Not one burr, and I haven't cleaned this at all. I've just taken it straight off the build plate, and there it is. That's how it, as it comes off, it is silky smooth. Flash forge. Okay, well, I hope you've liked the video today, uh, which encompassed Fusion 360. <laughs> Flash Cloud and upload into the Flash Forge Adventurer 3. Now I can honestly recommend this to anybody who's pretty serious about 3D printing. Um, you know, they're not cheapest on the market, but they're, they're very well priced. Um, you can obviously get details uh, off the internet about these machines and the associated program. So don't forget, Fusion 360 is free for download. Um, actually, the Flash Forge programs are free, also free. And I will leave below this video uh, direct links to Fusion 360, Flash Forge and the associated programs. So, um, thank you for watching this video and don't forget, press subscribe. <laughs> if you've liked the video, press like as well. And uh, go to my channel, over 300 videos now, three, over 350 videos actually, on my two channels. Second channel is here on this banner. If you press that on my main channel, that will take you to my second channel. And, um, well, thank you for watching, and it's bye for now.